Hey friends, hello. If you're all thinking that Krishna Janmashtami is just round the corner and you've not prepared anything for it, then here are three DIYs that I'm sharing with you all that you can do in the weekend and prepare yourself for the festivals. Welcome back to my channel, Mads World of Passion. The first DIY would be a background for the Krishna Janmashtami decoration that you would be doing, for which I've drawn a feather, a peacock feather on a sheet of paper. Now if you notice the peacock feather is in four different layers and we are going to do the same thing with different felt papers of different color. The first one was green, the second was yellow, the third was a darker shade of blue and then comes black. You have to use these particular shapes to cut the um, you know different colors in the size that I'm just showing you in the image here. Now I've cut a few of them in green, yellow, blue and black. Now I'm using a ribbon here, a golden colored ribbon. But yes, you have a choice to use any colored ribbon that you want to. But golden, since it's festival time, it will look very beautiful. So I'm taking around 1.5 meter here and I'm going to stick these peacock feather. But before I stick them, here is how I bring all these four layers together. First green, yellow, blue and black. And this is how it looks. I've made a few of them. Now how I arrange them is in one of the ribbons or this uh, length what I have. I'm going to fold a little bit on top and in the center I'm going to fix one of this. And on another ribbon. I'm going to fix one on top and one at the base of it. So this way I'm making five of it. But yes, you can increase the number of, uh, you know, the increase the length or even the number of ribbons that you want with the peacock feather uh, pattern as much as you want to. Now to elevate the look of this entire backdrop, I'm adding a few mirrors to it. Now this is totally optional, you can skip this as well. And once this is all done, you can easily attach this to a dowel with the help of fevicol and cellophane tape. But since I did not have a dowel, I used a branch of a tree and this is how it finally looks. Now this second DIY is an innovation from my side. What I did was these uh, tissue paper, um, you know, colored uh, texture that I had prepared for the Rangoli art which I had shared in my previous post. These were some of the leftover of the same. So instead of wasting them and throwing them away, I thought I'll make use of it. So what I did was I had this... Uh, cake base with me with a silver colored foil that was there on it so i tried to make use of the same backdrop and i created a very beautiful art and here this i can easily call a mixed media art without using any sculpture paste any texture paste in fact i've not even used clay and mirrors to make this beautiful wall art if you noticed what I basically did was I added all the tissue paper colored leftovers on this cake base and I just spread it mixed very lightly. I did not mix too much because the if I mix too much you know the colors would have also got mixed up. So I you know randomly mixed it and I spread it across. Now I did not add any fevicol at the base because the mixture already had fevicol in it. So I just spread it evenly and I created a small texture like this and I left it for a couple of days to dry. And this is how it looks after two days of completely drying it up in a normal place. You don't have to even keep it in the sun or something. You can just keep it in any regular place. And then I wiped off the dirt that was there in the side of uh, the cake base with the help of a wet cloth and then I'm using this golden colored 3D outliner 
to just randomly draw some patterns. Now till this time I myself did not know how this art would turn out because it was only there in my imagination and I just thought I should be using glass or colors to this because the silver color acts like a mirror or a glass and the glass paint I thought would work very beautiful on this. In the meanwhile I let the golden colored 3D outliner to dry and I drew the little Krishna on a sheet of paper and I traced it on a silver colored sheet with the help of a yellow carbon paper. Later I cut it with the help of scissors and paper cutting knife. You can also use a golden colored sheet but the silver colored sheet I had actually received with uh, I think a sweet box so it was lying with me and I thought it would go best with this backdrop. For my artwork okay now this 3d outliner is completely dried now i'm using the cameline glass painting color here which comes in five different shades yellow brown blue green and red with a solvent now i've not used the solvent here i've directly used the glass paint here on these uh, silver colored foil sheet that was there on the cake base And friends, also if you do not have a 3D outliner, you can make use of the glass liner to give in the same effect. Only thing is, um, maybe the thickness of the glass liner would not be as much. It would be a little thin. So you may have to use twice to give it that thickness because otherwise this glass paint may not sit in its place and it might just spill everywhere and mix with the you know adjacent paints that you're uh, using here so be a little careful on that you can do a clay work also here but instead of doing a clay work i thought i'll make use of these two different colored silver and uh, golden colored strings that i had i thought i'll make use of it and i created a border and then these two small loops just to give that 3d effect to our little krishna and this is how it finally looks isn't this looking just awesome it's my favorite diy in this video now to create the krishna janmashtami setup itself i'm making use of this embroidery hook and this uh, food uh, container bowl now this was something that i got uh, when i ordered something online so this was a plastic bowl a small one which i thought was appropriate for this diy so i used a brown colored tape to seal the embroidery hook with the um, plastic box also you got to make sure that the brown color tape you don't stick inside of the box because otherwise you know it will get mixed up with this uh, wall putty mixture and it could be a problem while removing it so be careful on that now to this wall putty mixture i'm adding water little by little and you just have to tap and if you see there's no spillage so we have done the perfect sealing so make sure you clear the air bubbles in the wall putty mixture and just tap it and leave it aside to dry for a couple of days now in the meanwhile what you can do for the next two days you will have to add little by little water onto the surface of this so that there are no cracks that are formed on this. After two days of drying this completely I remove the brown tape and the plastic box very carefully and in fact I have not added any oil or any such thing to the box it neatly came out without creating any problem if you notice it has come out so good and this base the embroidery hook base I'm going to use it three times in this year to decorate three different I would not tell you now you would see in my future videos but yes I'm applying a coat of gesso just to uh, keep it you know secure in case in the future if I need to paint it it would be easy for me 
now i've used the same golden colored ribbon to cover the embroidery hook and i'm using this uh, blue colored uh, again a sequence uh, ribbon just to create some pattern on the sides and on top of this now why i kept the hook on top is because it would be easy if i need to hang any slightly heavy you know object from on top it would be very convenient so that is the reason i kept the hook on top now to make the asan for shri krishna i used a small bowl which i layered up with the blouse pieces and i just made that asan there in fact you can also make a jula from on top or from the side but i did not do it because we have a silver jula actually which i use in the puja room so i didn't want to repeat the same here in this decoration so okay finally i've covered up the hook with the help of these natural flowers from little birdie and the butterflies and see how quickly and easily we created this beautiful asan for krishna so finally it's time to set up this beautiful corner for our krishna janmashtami with all our diys let's get started so friends finally we are done with the decoration part and this is how it beautifully has turned out to be i hope you all have liked this wasn't this the most easiest way of creating a krishna janmashtami corner for the celebrations at home do try it and leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and like this video and share this with your loved ones wish you all a very happy krishna janmashtami see you all soon in my next video take care bye bye